I took this trade to show you that sooner or later, one of you will get the hang of trading options. This is an option trade. At the bottom, you see the daily chart, and at the top, there's the one minute chart. Honestly, I'm not sure why you'd need a minute chart. I'm not a fan of minute charts. I think you should only use low time frames in two situations when you're trading something like in play or when there's a huge price movement where you can't keep up on a five minute chart. So let me be clear. I'm not a big fan of minute charts. When you switch to minute charts, you're trading a whole different player. I'd recommend sticking with five minute or 15 minute charts, but this deal looks great from the daily chart perspective. It's a straightforward gap closing trade done very nicely. There's a clear level, a nearby retest and a nice parabolic rounding. The asset dropped sharply, which shows there's some counter trend energy left. And remember, this is an option trade. Someone bought an option for 40 cents and sold it for 75 cents, almost a 100% gain. There's nearly 90 to 95% profit here. It's a really solid trade. It's a straightforward, clear cut trade. You might wonder why someone went for options instead of stocks. Here's the deal. Options require less money to invest. So the person bought an option for 40 cents, which is basically like putting in $400. They made $350 from that $400. With $400, you could have bought nothing else. In other words, if you'd bought 100 shares of this asset, which is the same as one contract, you'd have paid $200. So in this case, with a $400 investment, you ended up making $350. That's why options can be a great choice if you know what you're doing. We won't dive deep into options today, but they're a fantastic tool if you pick the right direction. If you're familiar with the movement direction, you've got a good shot at making money with options. If Let's keep going. So on to the next trade. What, what, what do we see here? Remember, everything always begins with the daily chart. This is our daily chart for crypto. I'll be honest, I'm not sure what happened here, but I can tell you right away, it's a tough picture. This one is really tricky. So despite the level next to which the price went up and down once, twice, even three times, it's a complex scenario. I typically try to avoid recommending such setups. Let me explain why. You can see, I'm not even looking at uh, the five minute chart uh, to see what's happening there, whether it's a positive or negative trade. Uh, this is a tough setup. There is a high volatility around it. Notice how the price is moving up and down around the level. Even in the pro channel, I try to avoid sharing these kinds of setups. But here, you've got two stop loss orders right at the level. The reason is simple. The daily chart isn't showing a clear trading signal. In other words, the price is going up and down on the daily chart. Remember, when a level you've drawn starts to show this, it might be time to adjust your level. If the daily level were shifted higher at the edges, you could have potentially caught a good movement. Uh, this setup is pretty weak. Uh, there's not much energy behind it. I usually steer clear of trading in these kinds of situations. So let's move on. Looking at the hourly and daily charts, is this a solid level? Not really. Here's why. We're just seeing two random bars that don't fit into any clear pattern. Would I trade this level? Number, would I recommend it for a long position? Maybe. Let me explain. I prefer to trade stronger movements, not short ones, but there's a good squeeze here and no reaction to a false breakout. You see how it's squeezed. So we might expect some initial impulse. I was out walking my dog, so I missed it. But if you had entered on the first or second movement, you'd have seen a solid squeeze. The setup isn't too bad. As I mentioned, it's purely impulse setup. Let's check the daily chart again. The squeeze is there with no reaction to the false breakout. The only catch is that it's a bit tricky here. It's a so-called contaminated area. But if you can see that the movement potential is strong enough for take profit, then it's worth considering trading. All right, let's move on. Here's the daily chart. The level looks solid and the price hasn't moved up and down around it. No complaints about this trade. It's a decent trade. Plus, there was a good amount of movement potential here. Check out those large paranormal bars. This can be your, uh, your movement range. Not everything necessarily accumulates. Here's an entry into the long area with a strong level. I've got no issues with it. Just one thing, the stop loss is quite large. I wouldn't set it like that. I'd place the stop loss here. Most likely the take profit wasn't high enough. But first, 
let me share an important lesson with you. If a trade goes bad, don't immediately assume it was a mistake. Sometimes trades are made correctly but still end up in the red. No big deal. The main issue here is the stop loss. It's too large. I'd suggest cutting it down to half. Here's why. If you place a stop loss behind the horizontal trend, once it's broken out, the price could go anywhere. That's why I wouldn't set such a distant stop loss. The level was solid, everything was good, and the entry into the long zone was right. The asset just didn't perform as expected. Nothing to worry about. All right, moving on. Here's a solid trade, and let me explain why it's good. Look at oil trading. It's tough. I've never claimed trading is easy. It's one of the hardest activities due to all the tiny details involved. The devil's in the details. Now, let's broaden the scope. This trade is excellent, and here's why. The level was very strong, and the trade was executed well. I'm not sure who made this trade. Alexander Teska, maybe but it was executed very well. There was excellent accumulation. The asset was moving from one channel to another. What's noteworthy is that it formed above the level for a while. On the hourly chart, it attempted to enter the short zone, but was fully bought back. When the asset falls into the short area, but doesn't get sold. Like here, it's not being sold. The asset was pushed into the short area and it goes back. This is an excellent trade. The stop loss was set correctly, though it's a bit large. For oil, the typical stop loss is 15 to 20 cents. I wouldn't place a stop loss like this. 30 cents is a bit much, but technically it was set up correctly. But usually the stop loss for oil is 15 cents. If it had been set to 15 cents, it wouldn't have been triggered. Still, the stop was technically very good. The movement reserve is solid and the trade is pretty great. Everything is clear and well explained. So. Where did the level come from? Good accumulation is evident. Excellent trade overall. Now let's move on. This is Roma. Haven't seen it for a while. Daily chart. Honestly, I'm not a fan of these line break hourly charts. Let me explain why. When you look at the asset and see such jagged movements and line break bits, it suggests that your stop loss uh, might not be sufficient. This indicates increased volatility and this type of volatility is problematic. Yes, it's clear that a false breakout was traded and everything seems fine, but the volatility is extremely high. I'm really cautious about trades with such high volatility. I understand that there's little room for placing a stop loss. Sure, I may hide here, but the chances of it working out are slim. So I would be very cautious with such trades because of the high volatility. Yeah, check out the hourly chart, uh, see how simple the $10 bars are. It's really tough. Yet uh, imagine sitting here and suddenly facing a $15 bar against you. That's a tricky situation. I usually avoid trading in such scenarios. Uh, Kovalenko Valerie, let's get going. This is our five minute chart, hourly and daily. Starting with the daily chart, excellent level, good accumulation and a nice return. The close under the high forms a V pattern. Doesn't matter what you call it. This one resembles a U pattern more than a sharp V pattern. Great close and an excellent breakout trade. The stop loss order is spot on. You could have even used a smaller stop loss than the breakout bar. Let me clear something up. Just because you set a large stop loss doesn't mean you're safe. If the asset is set to move, it will move. An adequate stop loss won't get triggered. Everything here was spot on. Excellent trade. I really like it. You see, one can learn a lot from books and YouTube videos. Fantastic trade. Very good. Clear. Clear trade, no questions here. The plan has a solid 3 to 1 ratio. Totally normal. I would still recommend learning to split your trades. Start splitting your trades. This one is very good. It's clear on the hourly chart, clean on the daily chart, and looks great on the 5 minute chart. A really solid trade. I'd give it an A+. Let's keep going. There's just one thing that bothers me here. I'll explain why. I really dislike it when the price goes up and down near the level repeatedly. Here's the issue. When this happens time and time again, it becomes unclear from which attempt the asset will take off. That's the biggest problem. So if you run into this situation, make sure to proceed with caution. In this case, who do we have here? Ivan Yablokov, I would have adjusted the level a bit and you would have ended up with a great trade, a very solid trade could have been achieved the short trade got stopped out twice before it finally moved as i mentioned when the price repeatedly moves up and down near the level it's uncertain which attempt will succeed 
The setup below shows emptiness. I'd just move the level a bit lower and it would have been fine. Overall though, the trade is very good. As I said, when you see this situation unfolding near the level, you can't predict which attempt will work. I really enjoy analyzing trades. Vladimir uh, Bob, it's helpful for improving trading skills. The daily chart is excellent, closing at the highs, the euro dollar, great trade. Everything is clear. The level is solid. The five minute chart shows where to place the stop. Excellent trade, Gircik Mi Religion. And I saw you here today. Thank you very much. Very nice. Great trade, clear. By the way, I also covered euro dollar. Let's look at this. The daily chart looks great. False breakout, nice daily chart too, see? Here's a good situation. Let me explain why. The price went up and down around the level here, but then leveled out. This suggests the asset is not ready to roll back down. Good accumulation, likely to go up. Very good trade. The daily chart worked out excellently. Check this out. See, the, the price fluctuated near this level a bit, but it was more of a false breakout. This was a false breakout, no more than two bars. They traded well and held nicely. Excellent trade. Well done, Nikitos.